What's up guys? Blake here with World Venice's Bliss and today I am reviewing the Midland Backpack Shotgun. Right here I have the 20 gauge 22 inch barrel model. They come in 12 gauge and 20 with barrel options ranging from 18 and a half, 22, like I said this one is, and 26. It's interesting in the 20 gauge because it's a little bit lighter gun and the ammo is lighter. I picked the 22 inch barrel as opposed to the 26, uh, thinking that it'd fit in a backpack better. I know I gave up a little bit of accuracy with that and I've noticed that when shooting clays um, and actually some birds. So I just wanna go through the things that I like about this thus far in this initial review and then I will continue using this on some more grouse hunts this year as well as a backpacking trip and I'll do a more full review to come. So initial thoughts on this. There's a few things I really like a lot. Walking around with it obviously it is extremely lightweight. It comes in just over four pounds and you hardly notice carrying it. I mean I also hunted with a 20 gauge Remington 870 on this trip and the moment I took it out of the truck, I thought, wow, this feels like it's twice as heavy. And it, it just it is just about twice as heavy. And you go for a short hunt, you notice the difference. So I really do like the lightweight nature of this. Also, I like the simple build. Um, it has the same safety methodology as the Remington 870, which is what I learned to hunt with and really am comfortable with. So... I do like that. Um, also, very simple design. This release just opens the bore, you place the one shell in, and you're good to go. This is a good opportunity to show you another cool thing about this gun. There's a cocking indicator right here, and you saw that it wasn't loaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and show when you shoot, the cocking indicator shows that there is no, the gun is no longer loaded. It also is very durable. You can tell it is well put together. Um, I'll give more of the details on the manufacturing of this in the more full review, but you can tell that it is well put together and is going to last. The Midland backpack also has a compartment inside the stock where you can put whatever you want, you know, some small items. And uh, that's part of why it's advertised as a survival gun and it makes sense I mean you could put some fire starting stuff maybe a couple rounds if you wanted in the in the right situation and if you're into that it's a cool option and cool feature of this another cool thing about this gun is that it's already prefabricated to just throw a sling on it uh, makes it an even better backpacking or survival option so that just about wraps up the initial things I really like about this gun so let's get to the things that I can already tell are a little bit of a shortcoming. First of all, the 22 inch barrel, um, it works. I successfully hunted a grouse with it. Okay, I'll let you know if it comes your way. Oh, it's in the bird right next to me. Dead bird! Another one just flushed. I see it in the tree. And was able to shoot some of the shorter clays with it. I know a lot of that was uh, my poor shooting at the time but uh, I can tell the difference shooting this short barrel versus my 870 with a 28 and a half inch barrel. I've also noticed the length of pull is a little bit too short for me. You can get extension pieces for this and I definitely need to buy probably two more because it, as I draw this gun up, I can tell that as short as the length of pull is, I have to really bend my neck in a way that isn't optimal for my shooting in order to get the bead on what I'm aiming at. If it was just a little bit longer, it'd be much easier to line things up. So I'm going to order those before my next hunt with this and I'll note how much it improves or doesn't make a difference. But the third thing about this that I can already tell is a shortcoming. Having one shot when more than one bird gets up that you have a good opportunity at is an obvious downfall of this type of gun but I knew what I was getting myself into. That's why it's a backpacking survival type gun and uh, it comes with the territory. 
Long story short, I'm a fan of this gun so far. I like how lightweight and durable it is. Of course, you give up some things for that lightweight nature of the gun, but I plan to keep using it. I'll do a more thorough review in the future, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.